podcast response. Uh, Bill. Oh, I have a feeling that it, this is just going to be somebody trashing me because they say it sounded to me from your last podcast that you've only read headlines and social media posts about 17 year old kid who shot three people in Kenosha, but probably haven't watched the video yourself. No, I watched the video. Uh, if you've not watched the video, I'd like to hear if your perspective changes after seeing it yourself. It seems clear to me that Kyle Rittenhouse didn't take an assault rifle, as you said, just shoot unarmed, innocent fucking people. It doesn't look to me like he just decides to take matters into his own hands and shoots them. The first guy shot was charging at Kyle and throwing some unknown flaming object in his direction while he was trying to run away and hear a gunshot directly behind. All right, admittedly, I just... I. I watch grainy footage of this shit. But here, here's, here is the thing. Here is the thing about all of this shit. All right? A 17-year-old kid should not be walking around with a fucking assault weapon. Okay? And then, secondly, why people are rioting and all of that stuff, like, is something else that white people have fucking ignored for hundreds of years. There is is also that. Now, you should not run at somebody. You should not fucking, uh, you know, throw a flaming thing at somebody or anything like that. But I do I do not sign off on fucking people. Like, I mean, I, I have to I, I would have to watch all of this fucking thing. Um, look, if somebody comes into your fucking house, I mean, yeah. But if you're outside co- going down there with a gun to confront people, then I then I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But you are right. I haven't watched it, I guess, to the level you have. Doesn't look to me. Okay, the first guy shot was charging a cow, throwing some unknown flaming object in his direction. Well, I mean, obviously you can't do that. The second guy was shot trying to grab his rifle as he was being kicked in the face by another protester. Uh, The third guy shot was lunging towards him with the pistol in his hand. Before the first shooting He can be seen on video running away from a group of people. My question, though, is why is he there? Okay, the cops can go down there and handle this shit. Why is he out there? That is my question. And he's retreating. Someone behind him fires a gun into the air. Imagine running away from a mob of people, hearing a gunshot from behind you, then turning around. Okay, here's my question for you. Imagine putting yourself in the perspective of those other people. Because the problem is, is that people just keep putting themselves into the perspective of the white person if they're white or the black person if they're black. The bottom line is you should not be rioting. And the other bottom line is you should not be going out there acting like you just deputized yourself. This is a 17-year-old kid. What the fuck is he doing out there in the middle of a fucking riot? There's also that question, isn't there? All right, at this point, he had to choose between using his rifle or getting into a fist fight with an angry mob. Um, well, you're not addressing why he's out there. After this shooting, he does not flee the scene. He grabs his phone and stays with the victim. However, the mob quickly starts moving his direction, begins yelling at him, so he runs away to avoid another confrontation. Once again, the mob does not allow him to flee. Yeah, and he also inserted himself into this, is the, the thing that you're ignoring. And the second shooting, uh, shooting about a minute later can be seen jogging down the street with a group of people chasing him with someone yelling, get him, get his ass. Yeah, because he just shot two fucking people. There's also that, okay? What you're acting like is this guy was sitting inside doing his homework. He went out there to confront. He went out there with a gun to join it. Okay, now if you don't have any sympathy for people that went out to riot, How do you have sympathy for somebody that went out to confront it who's not a cop? That that is my question. All right. Now I'm I'm totally about I I 100 percent get the self-defense thing that you're saying here, but you're not addressing why he went out there. All right? I mean, what about that guy, that same thing, that guy in Florida where the cops are going, don't follow that kid, don't follow that kid. He went out there to have a confrontation. Anyway, within two seconds of tripping. A person tries to kick him in the face while he's on the ground, and a second person reaches down, grabs the barrel of his weapon, and is shot in the chest. 
He immediately sights his rifle on a man running towards him with the handgun. The man with the handgun freezes and puts puts his hands up for a up for about a second. It appears Kyle looks down at his weapon to clear a malfunction. At which point, the man with the handgun lunges towards him and is shot in the arm. Now, okay. So now, imagine you're trying to get away from. It. Yeah, I am. I get all of this stuff except why he was there. Why are you there? Why the fuck are you there? That's what I don't get. While someone is screaming for people to stop you, someone sprints up behind you and throws a a haymaker at the back of your head. Yet what you're ignoring is that he went down there to confront. He got his confrontation. He then got involved. Like, what, what would you think would happen if you went down and started shooting people in a mob? What would you think if you went down and faced a mob? You go down there with your gun to face a fucking riot and you are against the rioters. Like what? Put yourself in that other position. What are you going to do? All right. Put yourself in the position of the rioters who've been pulled over for years and years and years for no fucking reason at all other than for being black. And they could literally be driving home from a night course at college and end up dead. And the, and the people who do it have never gone to jail. Imagine how angry they are. Imagine if they're showing up and there's yet another white person with a fucking assault weapon walking around and no one has a fucking problem with it because they're white. Imagine if you're, you're a black guy and you're walking down the street after you just shot a couple of people who are coming at you or not with your hands up and the cops just go, oh, hey, get out of the way. I mean, if you're going to do this, put yourself... In the white dude's position, you have to do that on both sides. Okay? Now, from what you're saying, if it's if it went down the way you're saying it went down, then a lot of that, all of that on paper is self-defense. But what I don't understand is why he goes down there. Why does he show up with this fucking gun? What is he doing? He's not a cop. He's 17 fucking years old. He should be at home inside and he should be letting the people whose job it is to stop it. Stop it. He doesn't. He chooses to go down there, get involved and face the anger of 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 hundreds of years of oppression, inserts himself into that. And is standing there with a fucking gun. Okay. I would think if I went down with a gun to a fucking riot, I'm eventually going to run into somebody with a fucking gun. That's what's going to happen. So, I mean, I look, if that kid was fucking sitting on his front porch, even trying to defend his house, because if they're going to come and burn down his house, you got a gun, you got you have every fucking right. But you start walking down the you insert yourself and walk down the fucking street. You're, You're looking for it, isn't he? I don't know. I don't know. And I, this is another thing, too. I am not condoning what people do in riots. I think riots are wrong. I don't think that they, they help what people are trying to achieve. On the other side, I definitely believe that people get hired both in those New World Order fucking white Peaceful protests. I definitely think that the government hires people to go down there and stir shit up. I've seen plenty of fucking videos where they just leave stacks of bricks places, you know, acting like they're fucking building. It's like sitting in the middle of the fucking road. Um, there's, there's all kinds of variables here. So here's the thing, sir. Like, I, I have no problem with gun owners. I have no problem with self-defense. I do have a fucking problem when you're a 17-year-old kid and you decide to just go down there. The same way that fucking asshole down in Florida murdered that kid. He went down. He was looking for a confrontation. He got one, and then people died. Um, I don't know. But having said that, I'm sure your version of what happened is what's going to happen because this kid's white, and and, and he will will get off. I think that that's what's going to happen, and that's not going to help things. Um, You know, I don't know. That's just how that's just how I look at it. All right. And in, you know, in defense of what you're saying, I haven't watched it to the level that you have watched it. 
But I also, I'm not going to watch this video when I do watch it. I'm not going to watch it like this kid didn't have an option to not fucking be there. All right? I don't know. Let me see something here before I make a total ass of myself. Where, like, where, where did this kid live? Where did, does Kyle, slowly, slowly, internet, of course. I mean, didn't this guy like drive from a, a, a long way away? The reality is I shouldn't be weighing into this shit if, if I know this little about it. That, I mean, that is the truth. But I, I will, if this is another classic example of somebody who did not have to be involved, who was not a fucking cop and went down there with a the fucking weapon and then gets themselves, inserts themselves into a situation where they now have to defend themselves and then kill fucking t- a couple, two, three people. It's like, I, and then you're, well, you know, it was self-defense. It's just like, what the fuck were you doing? You know? I've always equated it to like, you know, I could fucking, you know, walk through Central Park back in the day at three o'clock in the morning, dressed like Liberace, singing I'm in the money, waving my money around. And then when somebody comes up to me and starts attacking me, I like, you know, first of all, if I get my fucking ass beat, it, the, the person who did it is still wrong. But it, there's also an onus on me of like, what is your response? Like, why would you put yourself into that fucking situation? Um. All right. I mean, I don't have time to read all of this. All right. 17-year-old shadowed local law enforcement as a cadet and filled his social media feed posts declaring that blue lives matter. I mean, here's all kinds of shit here that you are fucking ignore. You're ignoring all of this, this type of shit. You're ignoring fucking racism. You're ignoring media hysteria. And what you're doing is you're going to just Take this case and you're going to you're going to you're going to fucking act like history and th- there's nothing up in front of it. And you're just going to press play when these rioters are coming at him and be like, boom, self-defense. You're, and you're going to ignore all of that. And, dude, I just can't sign off on that. All right. I just I can't sign off on that. I can sign off on if this kid stayed home. And some fucking lunatic rioters start coming up his fucking driveway. Then I, all day long, all day long, that's self-defense. But you, when you fucking go out of your way to go down there and get, in, get, get into it with people, you know, and then, oh, and then he, oh, he checks the, the, the victims okay and he put his fucking hands up. Oh, what a fucking Boy Scout. I mean, I, 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 I can't sign off on that. I just, I, I can't. All right. I mean, I easily in this state that I live in could could buy a gun for fucking self-defense. And when the riots were going on here, I easily could have gone down to where they were going on. And I could have stood there with a fucking gun and been yet another white guy in front of black people with a fucking gun, not on their side. And I could have gone down there and I could have got into it. And then when they came at me, I guess I could have shot them. I would have been in trouble because I wouldn't have had a license to carry, I guess. But you could have watched that video and been like, you know, yeah, Bill was, was just defending himself. It's like Bill didn't need to be there. I didn't need to fucking be there. So um, I don't know. I don't know. I have, I have empathy for people on both sides if all of a sudden – because of the ills of society, you are thrusted into something. But when you go out of your fucking way as a white person to go down there and confront it, I just, I, that's, that's the part that I have a problem with. And I don't have a problem with black people protesting. I, I hate to see the riots because I think it works against them. But, you know, who am I as a fucking hothead who can't even go through airport security without losing his shit to sit there and judge somebody that expresses their frustration of oppression that way. And I'm not saying that that that's only it. I'm not saying that there's not some piece of shits that just want to go down there and get some free fucking TVs and shit. There's always opportunists. I'm not saying that either, but I just, I just, I can't co-sign on, on the, uh, 
you know, going out of your way to stand in front of people with a gun and then, oh my God, I had, I had to shoot people because I, I was being attacked. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's, that's like the fucking chick walking around with the tits hanging out and then says, what are you looking at? I'm looking at your tits. They're hanging out of your shirt. <laughs> I don't know. 